Hello everyone and thank you for clicking. My name is Magic Heb and welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is episode 2 in the franchise series for the Mission Zoo. So we're going to jump right in. Now, last time if you remember, I ended up laying paths, a lot of paths, maybe spending too much money on them. Um and then I, I came to the very sad realization that I wasn't going to have enough money to do the giraffe exhibit. Uh, so I had to end up letting it run. And uh, good news. Good news. Leslie has done her job. She has researched all of the Australia scenery. And... Let's see. That research, we have the giraffe nearly done with research. So, we are in a good position to continue on. You'll notice we also have a little bit more money than we ended last episode with because I know. What is it? Oh, yeah, I know all those things. Uh, yeah, anyway, we have... A little bit more money than we ended the last episode with because um, I let the game run for a little while while those things researched and I also sold a few animals from my other franchise zoos. So I have a little bit more money and a little bit more conservation points. So basically what I want to do in this episode is I want to finish the giraffe exhibit because these guys are starving. They're all hungry. It doesn't look good. It looks pretty bad. They can't even get food because I don't have a, a, um, a zookeeper hut or anything like that. So, uh, But the good thing is we can now afford the pre-made shelter that I made, which includes a zookeeper hut because Leslie came through and did her job and researched the Australia theme. Go Leslie. Yeah, so we're going to do things like put in rocks, you know, do, do some landscaping, maybe fix the barrier, make it look a little nicer, add the shelter. It's going to look really nice when we're done. The first thing that definitely needs to be done is um, the barrier because it's ugly. Um, but also because the most important thing I want to get in first is the hard shelter because I want it to be a part of the barrier. And I also have a building walkthrough video on this specific hard shelter. If anybody wants to see how I built it from scratch or... You know, if you want to see how you can use the same pieces to make something similar and, you know, just get inspired. Um, but once the shelter is situated, I'm just making sure that everything's connected to a path because the shelter does have a built-in keeper hut.
for the barrier, I'm using a few different types. I'm using the wooden logs, steel mesh, the planet zoo fence with uh, the planet zoo column, kind of as that like end post that the fence doesn't have, and uh, the null barrier within the shelter and with uh, like alongside the planet zoo fence. Um, I think it's a little more realistic and aesthetically nicer when there's variation in the barriers like this. And I'm also really a fan of like incorporating shelters and uh, like staff facilities into the barriers. I think that's a little more realistic too. I'm also using the concrete wall as a base for the steel mesh. I think it bumps up the realism and it, it sort of just like breaks up the fact that there's a just a cage there. <laughs> um, and I just I think it looks a lot nicer when you put a little bit of like a foundation, like something that the cage is like stuck into. Yeah, a foundation. And here we have this episode's big problem, our problem for the day. Because it turns out the giraffe can only walk through a, a space inside of a structure if it's 8 meters wide or like just under, which I don't think makes much sense because uh, I think the giraffe itself can fully fit in one of those like 4 meter tiles in the game. but. Whatever, we have to deal with these uh, mechanics. So my solution for the problem while trying to maintain some sort of realism is to just make a bigger track and add another sliding door like within that track. Uh, but the doors are staggered. So one could realistically slide over the other like a closet. And they could both realistically slide over to cover that gap.
And now I'm just going to be moving into a little bit more detailed terrain editing. I'm going to add just a little bit more of a hill and kind of finesse some of the terrain paints. I kind of spend a lot of time on terrain painting because for some reason it's one of my favorite parts of putting an exhibit together. I think it can really help to boost the realism of anything that you're doing in Planet Zoo. With most of the rocks done, it's time to start on plants, which is my other favorite part of putting an exhibit together. And here I'm using acacia and marula for trees, elephant grass as like a shrubby textural plant, and nettles in places where weeds might realistically grow.
Okay, and we are done. Uh, done for now, at least, or done for the giraffes, at least. Because uh, we have this exhibit completely done up uh, for maximum welfare. Uh, we have social 100, habitat 100, enrichment 100. Um, nutrition is not at 100 because they're still starving. But um, I did catch a little zookeeper in here. She's going to come in and feed them pretty soon so so that'll go back up that shouldn't really be a problem look at the view from inside the shelter i love it i love it i was a little nervous it's it's kind of hard to like picture the scale sometimes but um it worked out perfectly I love the way that this looks. I love I love the scale compared to the giraffes. I think it fits very well. We have, yep, hard shelter 100, terrain 100, and plants 100, coverage fine. So this exhibit is perfect for the giraffe. And honestly, it came out, it came out beautiful. It came out exactly the way that I wanted it to. This is what I wanted to do in the first episode. But no, I had to wait for Leslie. And no, I didn't have any money. I mean, I'm kind of on track to be losing some money pretty soon anyway, as soon as I hit, as soon as I hit unpause. But what I want to do is I want to very quickly before I hit unpause, um, I want to put in a vet surgery because pretty much I think at least two of my giraffes have some sort of disease as well as uh, <laughs> as well on top of the fact that they're starving um, and the vet has nowhere to treat um, facilities the, the vet has nowhere to treat them so the vet's just been like running around and i think in my within the within my blueprint the vet surgery does go there so i'm just going to connect it up with a path come on there okay all right so we have the vet surgery in i'm going to hit on pause so uh my vet can yep see the vet's running the giraffe right over there all right, so I have three warthogs that I previously bought when I was doing, I was doing a whole like uh, trading and selling with a whole bunch of other animals from my other franchise zoos uh, in between these two episodes. So I, I bought three warthogs in the meantime and come on, all right delivery scheduled so I'm gonna schedule them all for delivery and as soon as they get in here I'm gonna see what they need and see if I can uh, spruce up the exhibit for them as well so it doesn't look like I'll be doing that just yet because surprise surprise look who's taking a break how come every time I need something to happen a staff member is taking a break First it was Leslie, and then Leslie got her act together, thank God. And now it's, what's her name? Staff. Natalia, Natalia. Natalia. Oh well, so I guess I'm just, I'm still gonna unpause the game. Um, let her finish her break, and in the meantime, I'm gonna play some uh, some education boards while I'm waiting for her to be finished with her break so she can hop to it.
So I took a break from uh, putting down the education boards for a second because we have a baby giraffe. We have a baby giraffe, Frankie. Really good genetics, so <laughs> it sounds so bad, but really good to sell or keep to Mother Moore for selling. Uh, but anyway, we won't focus on her bleak future too much. Also, we have the first warthog coming in, so I'm gonna unpause and I'm gonna see what this warthog needs. Ah, look at it. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the warthog is just gonna need a little bit of enrichment. All right, so it appears that one barrel feeder was enough to put the warthog's food enrichment to 100. Yep, food enrichment 100, toy enrichment 100, interspecies bonus, not very big, but <laughs> it's there. Hard shelter, terrain, plants, yep. All right, so this exhibit is also perfect for the warthog, which means that that brings us to the end of this exhibit. So I'm just gonna unpause. I'm gonna have um, the vet, Natalia, deliver the rest of the warthogs. Look at, she's so much more reliable than freaking Leslie was. Like she went on her break and then she promptly got back to work. I mean, granted, Leslie was doing actual research, but you know what? I feel like the vet research takes even quicker than the mechanic research. So, you know what? Good for Natalia. Basically, the rest of the things that I want to do in this episode, because we're nearing the end, is I want to do just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, just bumping up some of the stuff around the zoo, like, like adding education boards, adding trash cans, maybe hiring a caretaker, we'll see. I don't know if I want to spend money on that yet. Reticulated giraffe, two, three. Yep, so I want to give them the highest food quality that I can. I'm also going to have Natalia start on research for the warthog. And now that that's all done, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to boost the admission price just a little bit. Adult $3? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. We'll do 8 and 5. I think that's going to be okay for right now. So with all of that done, I'm going to end episode 2 here as the sun starts to set on the first full exhibit of Mission Zoo. Um, Natalia is going to put in the rest of the warthogs. Well, it's just only one. Nat Natalia is going to put in the last warthog. I'm also just going to be letting the game run for a little while while that research happens. Hopefully I can start making a little bit more money. It seems to be 
at a plateau right now, but that could change as people start getting a little bit more educated from the speakers and the boards and they start using the new vending machines. And with that, I have to say thank you again for clicking. My name is Magikeb. This has been another episode of Planet Zoo in the Mission Zoo, and I will see you next time.